Hey guys, it's Chad. I sent out an email yesterday um, talking about Tube Maker Pro. I put in a massive bonus for Tube Catalyst, so I'm going to kind of explain that to you here a little bit. Um, I've never even activated um, Tube Maker Pro. I brought, I bought it right when it came out. I know the value. I know what it's going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my activation code here. Sorry guys, I'm going to blur this out. I'm going to click activate because I want you to see that I have never even messed with this program yet and I want to see if I can get the hang of it and how fast it takes. So it looks like I'm good to go. I'm going to come over here to video settings. That's the first thing and we have an opening title and um, I'm going to go ahead and put Chad nicely. This could probably be your website name or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my website here www.chadnicely.com this is i can tell what's going on here this is the opening frame so we can go ahead and set a background color for this opening frame and so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and choose uh i'll choose blue which means our fonts need to be white and white and that's fine and then if i have a custom image that i design in photoshop or something like that i can come here click file and go grab this image see all developers <laughs> we all think alike so i know what mark's trying to do here and i'll tell you what he does top notch with his software this one here that says latest video frame i think that was supposed to say the last video frame so once again i'm probably just going to put the same information there my website name and i'll go ahead and put my website address because obviously that's the information i would want to appear i could put my phone number here i could put my skype name whatever i want to do and then i can go and grab another background image pretty simple now this part here i know what he's doing here i can go and um i actually did this with a tool years ago and uh, my wife was a realtor and we were banking off foreclosure properties and what we were doing is we were going and taking pictures of foreclosures and then we would put them all in one folder and it, uh, I can't remember the name of this software, but this software would go and grab all of these pictures and it would spin it in a different order. So you always had a different video. This can kind of do the same thing. So if I go ahead and click folder, so I'll go ahead and click this one here called homes. I'll say select folder. We'll see what happens. What happens when I click open? Okay, here you go. See here, these are all homes that I have. And guys, I think I paid like 50 cents for each one of these images. And they're really nice images. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, I think I even paid less than that. And I, I did it on a subscription. So let me go ahead and open up Google real quick. I'll give you a resource. Come over here to depositphotos.com. It could be deposit photo. And what you can do is you can get a subscription for like 40 bucks a month, 45 bucks a month. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then you can do like five photos a day. So um, like this here, this is very similar to the one I just got for um, my new legacy model. Um, but you can go through here and you can search for whatever you want. Like if I come up here and I type in homes, it's going to go through and it's going to find all of these photos dealing with homes, right? And so if I was a realtor, eventually I would buy each and every one of these. And yes, there are 17,676 photos but they're very cheap like this one here if I want this photo it's going to cost me let's see this specific one right here is one credit so I don't know if that's a dollar today or 50 cents I'm not quite sure but this is a great resource this is where I find all of my stock photos okay and I know I'm talking really fast but I have a lot to show you so what it's going to do is it's going to go and pull all of these images out of that folder but I also have the option to type in something like foreclosures and it will go and it'll pull up um, foreclosure uh, pictures off of Pinterest or Google's Picasa or you can go and if we were to do like LCD TVs or something for Amazon like if you guys are thinking about Christmas right now um, you know you could probably make some quick cash real quick okay and so that makes sense Chad quick cash real quick and so it's asking me image count it's saying how many images do you want to pull so you have the option to do that right now i'm going to go ahead and pull these images out of the folder and then what you can do if you guys remember in tube pro remember what i told you go ahead and change out the audio for each video you do 
Okay, and so I've got some of these audio files here. I can go ahead and click play. Let me go ahead and show you guys a good source for that too, a really cheap source. Um, and I use it in all of my videos and everything. But what you can do is come over here to audiojungle.com and you guys can buy music tracks in here that you can use over and over and over. Do you see this? Royalty free audio video files for a dollar. Audio Jungle is tied to Video Hive, they're tied to Photo Dune, Graphic River, um, Code Canyon. And so what you do is you if you were to go and put like $50 in your account, you could use $50 at any one of these sites. They're all tied together. Really cool what Envato's got going on, right? And I spend a lot of money with this company. Okay, so back to the tool. I've gone ahead and I'm gonna choose this track right here. That's fine for me. This is all stuff that we use when we did our real estate stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to open. And now you can see it put the audio file right here, SoundCloud. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. That's probably an online service. I don't know. Footer text, this is probably gonna be the footer that's gonna appear at the bottom of your video. So obviously, I would want that to be my website address. And here we have the output file name. This is basically gonna say, where do you want this to appear? And let me just go ahead and show you this. It looks like you can also set your color for your footer text, okay? Very easy. And for right now, let's go ahead and make it appear on my desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead, what you wanna do is you wanna call it a keyword. So in this case, we'll call this homes for sale, which is a big keyword in real estate. I'm gonna go ahead and click save and see here, I can choose the type. Let's go ahead and go with an M4, save. And what do we do now? What do we do now? Uh, why don't we go ahead and click create video and let's cross our fingers. Here is the images and you know, I forgot to show you that. You can also go through and you can rearrange the order if you want. So as soon as this video is done guys, what I would do is I would go and I would rename the order of these, I would reorder these images, okay? So now Google sees something different. I would change out your audio track, and then on top of that, I would change out your beginning clip and your ending clip. I'll show you that in a minute, but I can see that our video is done right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Okay, so there's my intro screen. Here is my pictures. You can see that they're coming through. I could actually probably pause them a little bit longer. I got my website address at the bottom. See that there? And something happened with the last slide there. So let's see, not too bad, right? This is my first time in, so let's see. Um, okay, see here, I got my background image and I probably want to set this as black, okay? And so now the fonts are going to show up because they're white fonts. And where did I see, let me see where, um, let's see, image count, image count, sound collection. Okay, here's where we could, let's say that that video was perfect. If I click on this guy right here, watch this. Let's go ahead and move him down. Okay, we can move this one up. So, um, let's see, move row up, move select to the top. Okay, so we can change the order here so it looks a little bit different to Google. And okay, here's what I wanna see. Okay, like I just said, let's say that that video we just created is perfect. Next time we go and create a video, let's go ahead and make the first image five seconds. Let's make the last image seven seconds and then let's go ahead and make the images in between like we'll say like four seconds okay and then let's go back to our video file and let's go ahead and get this one this time and now we're going to go ahead and create another video and what it's going to do is it's going to override my last one because i didn't go and change this file name here but that's okay so you can see that was real time pretty fast so let's go see what how we did Okay, so I got a different soundtrack. You can see that the intro was a little bit longer and now the pictures are in different order. Now, could I also go and add some more pictures to the folder? Sure, no problem, especially when you guys can pick up pictures as cheap as I just showed you, okay? And let's see, do we have the website address at the bottom? We do, it's right here, chadnicely.com. Sometimes it doesn't appear when you have a white um, screen, but that's okay. 
it's right here, okay? And so here's these pictures, and on YouTube, it's gonna be, what, like this size here, guys? And so there's my, my uh, last splash, okay? Because now it's black. And so, <laughs> Yeah, th this will work perfect. I mean, think about think about what you can do with Amazon with products, or um, you know, there are all kinds of stuff you can do, right? Um, pretty simple to do, not a real big deal. There's one last thing I want to show you. I saw that there was a settings here, so this allows you to change your um, your fonts and your. Uh, let's see, this is your font size. This is going to be for the first splash. And then here's your subtitles. This was what we were using for our um, domain name on those splashes. And then here's like the footer font, right? So if I wanna make my footer bigger, which was my web address, I could change this to like 30. And then see where it says footer padding? We can make this, um, you know, probably like 30, 35, 40, whatever we wanna do so that there's a little bit of space so that your domain name is not sitting at the bottom of the video, okay? There you go, guys. So again, if you want to make different videos, change up the order of your slides, put in some different pictures, put in a different audio track, and rename it differently, and change these image times right here. Okay? Now, just real quick, let's go ahead and try this too. What if I go ahead and type in foreclosure? Okay? And let's see. We'll do six images. Let's go ahead and create this video. Really, this is a simple tool, guys, because you, you saw it. I just had activated it right in front of you, right? Like, I could have fell on my face with this thing. But let's go ahead and see what it did. So if I come over here to Images. And if I refresh. Okay, it went and pulled these images from Pinterest. Now... Somebody sent me an email asking me about copywriting issues and everything. I'm not an attorney. I don't know. I can tell you people do this stuff all the time. They just don't have a tool that does it automatically for you. But if you come over here to licensing, I noticed this just a second ago. It says, does Tube Pro Maker make any claims to rights to images accessible to you at Pinterest or Picasa? They are saying no. Does Tube Pro, uh, what is it? Does Tube Maker Pro claim any rights to audios accessible to you at SoundCloud? No. Okay, if you guys want to play it safe, if you want to do this cheap, use deposit photos, use audio jungle, you will be just fine. And you can use these images over and over and over. That's what I do. Okay, especially when you get into internet marketing, stuff like that. Okay, so there is the tool. When you go and pick up this tool, when you pick up the six user version, I have a killer deal for you. An awesome bonus. It is a training course that I put out when I was doing those review videos. Um, you might recall the one I did for Don Wilson. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Okay, that is this video right here. It took me a minute to find it, but you can see I've had some views to it and everything. I've got a lot of comments going on. Go ahead and skip this ad. But do you see how about a new w commercial this is? With the, I got the banners, I got the call to actions down here and everything. Uh, I had so many requests saying, Chad, how do you do that? How are you getting so much attention? How did you get so many sales from these review videos? And so when people start asking me questions, when they start asking me to coach them on things and give them tips and strategies and resources, guess what, guys? It's time to create a product. And you guys know that I've been trying to get away from the launches and stuff like that. And I've been telling you guys about Legacy for a long time. You are looking at Legacy. This deal here is going to make you guys a $2,500 commission and it will sell like mad. The way I'm setting it up is crazy. If you want to know more details about it, go ahead and drop me an email. And what I will do is I will give you this book that I wrote when I was coming back from San Diego on that train. It's called Reflections. And this, this book is like a reflection back on my life of internet marketing for the past 12 years and everything. It's pretty amazing, but it will tell you everything I am doing with Legacy. And this, by far, is going to be the biggest thing I have ever done in my entire life. And when I went to that mastermind um, session in San Diego, that, that deal that cost me $10,000 and everything, they assisted me in setting this whole thing up. Dagan Smith, Matt Lloyd, all the top dogs 
helped me put together this whole entire site that you are seeing right here. You guys are going to love the model that I have for you. But if I go through Legacy, you can see that I've got all these products here, products that you guys have probably never even heard of, but there's one here called Tube Catalyst. And if I open up Tube Catalyst, you will see that I have all the models, all the modules to Tube Catalyst right here. I'm sorry, guys, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And um, there, there's some good stuff here. This is a rock-solid course. You can go through. It's everything you would expect of my trainings. I've got all the tools, all the resources. I've got some PSD templates in there. Everything that you would expect from a chat nice video. It's all right here. It's all set for you guys to go. If you go and you buy uh, Mark's product, um, wherever it went, I can't remember where it went, I'll have the link below. Buy his product. Send me your a copy of your receipt to support at chadnicely.com and I will give you access to Tube Catalyst inside the new Legacy Members area. Okay? Guys, hopefully you got a lot of value, man. This is this is why you're on my list, right? Because I definitely over deliver. Um, I showed you guys exactly how you can succeed with Mark's tool. I'm giving you a $197 course right here. That's how much this course will sell for. Frankly, I'm losing my mind. I'm not going to do these bonuses for too much longer, but it's a great way to introduce Legacy to you guys because Legacy is going to be a household name in internet marketing. Okay, so pick up Mark's tool. The link is below. Send me a copy of your receipt and we will get you this bonus. Thanks, guys.